Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5 as the Olmec. So, we are still fighting Harappa, and now he wants to Kathmandu, but I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. We have quite a few units around here. And we'll get a castle in six turns. Anyway, we also got Korea sending turtle ships to attack Tonala, but I think that will be fine as well, because they can only attack the city from one tile, and we have a few ranged units in the area. We'll see. I queued up a few academies, because it's about time we get them. It's still going to take a while, but we need to start working on that. Other than that, what else do we need around here? Repair all the pillage improvements, I suppose. Like this one. That might not be entirely safe. And we still need to work on this road. So how about we do that? At least we are not losing gold anymore, so there's that. Okay, let's keep at least one unit in each city. Unknown resource discovered. That's probably coal. Is he moving away now? Seems like it. Yeah, that's coal, but we just revealed coal because we just finished the research. Oh, are we settled literally right on top of coal? Yeah, apparently Laventa is settled on top of coal. Okay then. We already knew Kathmandu had coal, but it has two sources. Nice. So two out of three of our sources are near Kathmandu. Interesting. Alright, back to fighting him. We still cannot negotiate. He's stubborn. What about Korea? We can do some damage at least. Always nice for experience. Hey, get back here. Oh yeah, he wants to kill our caravel and he is almost certainly going to succeed. Yeah, alright, whatever. We can send one more unit to attack them, the cannon. Okay, and let's start repairing all these pillaged improvements. And work on the road. And get a mine on the coal, now. These guys. I'm not sure if that musket man is entirely safe, but I guess we'll find out. We'll do something like this. Okay, that will have to do. This right here is an explorer, so not really a threat. Repair the cow. You know, it would be nice to take Asor, but I don't think we can afford to do that right now. Not really. Okay, fortify. Yes, start a road, thanks. He's still trying. Well, hopefully he will get bored with that eventually. And another guy. Let's just move into the city. And we can start a farm or a trading post, anything. Fine, trading post. Road and mine. It will take a while, but obviously we have to hook it up. I could capture that worker, but let's not overextend too much. We took enough damage. Okay, just fortify and get health back. I cannot save the caravel, so I guess that's that. That was to be expected, though. The turtle ships are a little bit too strong for a caravel to deal with. Oh, this isn't actually pillaged, it's just not finished. Right. Okay, then. So, camp. Looking good. I don't think we can get a trade with Napoleon. But we can check, we don't even have anything we can sell. Unless he buys horses. We got 13 horses. He will buy horses. How about something like this? That would be pretty funny if it worked. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, but we can try. No, it's not going to work. But I want to try at least. 
I don't think he's interested in more than five horses. Okay, how about horses and iron? And maybe some gold? Preferably not too much, but I can give him a few gold per turn. Up to seven. Now, he won't go for it. Okay, whatever, I tried. We can still sell the horses though. It's not like we need 13. And he's still buying, so sure, I'll take the gold, thanks. That's pretty much it. We will get more gold once we finish the road. It's not actually completed yet. Yeah, we lost the caravel, but that was to be expected. Great artist, but we don't have any slots for great works. We can use him for Golden Age. That's not a bad idea. I don't think I'll have the time to build an effect that includes a slot for a great work of art. And we have a policy that makes our Golden Ages 50% longer. That will extend the Golden Age to 28 turns from 13. I would say that was worth it. Definitely. Okay then, so Korea. We'll get some experience from this. That's always nice. Down you go. Okay then. Can we peace out yet? Nope. He still doesn't want to negotiate. We are getting pretty close to yet another promotion on this guy. He's level 7 now. He has both plus one range and logistics. It's our most experienced unit right now. Get rid of the cannon. And I suppose we can do some damage to the explorer, if only to get experience for the musket men. And here, protect the workers. And we can do some damage while we're at it. We will get one more musket men soon. And then we'll get started on the academy. And another musket man. Let's keep one in Laventa. Just in case he will be needed somewhere in the area. Yep, sounds good. Next. Also, Venice wants to buy some horses. Salut. We can... Oh, actually, he doesn't really have any gold. Right. Carry on, then. Next. Scientific theory in 15 turns. He's still trying to capture Kathmandu. He's really stubborn, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, give me my worker back. Thanks. That would be appreciated. I don't think it's entirely safe to attack with that musket man, but he's the only one who can do it. Unfortunately. Well, alright. Let's do that. And the cannon... That's not quite safe, not really. Let's move over, because there's another cannon incoming. Come on, now. One more turn to get the castle, that will definitely help. Quite a lot, though. I'm glad I started that castle. As it turns out, it will actually be relevant. So, let's send more units there. I will actually send that musket man, because looks like we are about to lose one. Oh yeah, Ward's Fair. That's kind of the last thing that I wanted to see right now, but alright. I guess we'll have to work on that a little bit. Fine. We'll do that. So, I guess that's it. Academy is queued up. Worker? Yeah, continue the road, thanks. We need that road done. Faster. He is still trying. Okay, at least we can kill his general now, that's nice. Before he starts a citadel or something obnoxious like that. This was a little bit too close, maybe. Get rid of that cannon. One more shot. I could kill it with a musket man, but I don't think that's entirely safe, so no. Don't do that. We didn't lose the musket man, so that's good. Heal the general and then fortify. We got the castle, finally. And yet another cannon coming in. 
Let's move away so that it will have to move towards us. Can we still not negotiate? Nope, we cannot. Great. I assume the war's fair passed. Yes, it did. I really didn't want that, but fine. I think I don't want the rewards, but this is a really bad moment to work on it. Fine, we'll work on it, but let the windmill finish. We just need the silver reward. Which requires how much? 525 production. That is quite a bit. Well, I guess we'll work on that. Here. So, what can we propose? We could try to embargo someone. If we could embargo Korea, that would be amazing. What else can we do? Anything that's actually useful? Not super useful, to be honest. We could try to embargo Harappa. It might actually work. I mean, we are already at war, so it's not like we care about upsetting him. You know what? Sure, let's try that. If it works, that will be great. If not, we tried at least. War religion failed. Good. We got another musket man. Sent him west right away. The road is almost done. Good. Cow is repaired. What else do we need around here? Some more trading posts, I guess. Remove that marsh. And we can still get some experience. Thanks for the experience, bro. Let's see if we can bait the other turtle ship with our caravel. He still managed to do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, this could have ended poorly if he was able to attack from more than one tile. So I'm glad the city was positioned like this. That pretty much saved it, I think. Fortify. Yes, continue the mine, thanks. Are we done with this stupid road yet? We will actually be done on the next turn, I think. Does this tile have a road? And now it does not. More cannons incoming. A great prophet. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to use him for a great tile improvement. But where? Instead of one of the jungle tiles, maybe? Maybe over here? That's not a bad idea. So we can get either a holy site or a colossal head. Oh wait, the holy site will give us science. I think that's thanks to one of our policies. So that will be better than the colossal head. Which one is it? Oh yeah, this one. The finisher. Right, so this will obviously be superior to a colossal head. Sure, let's get that. And we will make sure we are working it. That's such a nice tile. Two food, six science, six faith. That's 53 faith per turn. And we can still work the natural wonder. We probably should at this point, actually. So let's do that. Yep. That's 59 per turn. Get rid of that cannon. We don't want it here. There. Okay. Now I don't really want to peace out. I want to try taking a city from him. I'm just not quite sure which one would be the easiest to take. Maybe this one? But it might be a little bit hard to defend. If we could take Venice from him, that would be great. But it would also be really hard to do. I don't know if we can do that. We can always try. Okay, how about a few more trading posts? That certainly won't hurt. As for you... Let's see. We still got a few pillaged improvements around here. Well... How are assignments in here? We could maybe use at least one more farm. Doesn't look like that turtle ship wants to come here. Hey, we can come to him. I just want him to move towards us. 
And that's all I want right now. How's our progress? 87 hammers, but it's only 3% completed. Okay. One more road section needed. And then Kathmandu will be connected. Took long enough. Is he at war with anyone else? Yeah, he is actually at war with France. Okay, that's very convenient from our point of view. Definitely. That way France will potentially help us. I like that. Where do you think you're going? Okay, don't let him come here. Not sure if we can kill him fast enough, probably not. But I'll try. Alright, so which city do we attack? 29. This one would give us truffles. And we do not have that yet. So I'm thinking this one. The only problem is that we would have to be... on the hill with one of the cannons. Well, I suppose we can do that. Let's see if it's actually possible to begin with. We are going to need our other cannon for sure. 280. Alright. So, next. Great person born. Oh, I think that's the great spy. Nice. I'm going to send him to Korea. And we managed to steal something. Exploration? Sure, good enough for me. Hey, that's better than nothing. It's still needed for imperialism. Okay, sure, exploration is fine. 56 turns, I'll keep him in there. Not much point moving him anywhere else, to be honest. There's the great spy. Let's send him to Korea. Sounds good to me. Where are you going? Come back here. This still won't be enough to kill him, but city bombardment will finish the job. Nice. Okay. 427. We can switch some of our cities to normal production. Nobody is really working on it, from the looks of it. Which means we could probably get the gold, but it's not worth it. Our culture output is too low to make gold worth it. At least in terms of hammer investment that's needed. Anyway, I wanted to kill that explorer before we start attacking the city. I guess we can do that? He's actually more resistant than I thought he will be. Sure, fine. He will die soon enough. It's all good. Oh, hold on. I wonder if we could snipe that city. Might be a little bit hard now. But we could certainly try. Well, we could try. But I don't know if it's going to happen. I think Napoleon will take it. Seems likely. Fortify. This game is becoming such a mess right now. How many cities does Napoleon have? 20 cities? He's actually doing pretty damn well. Okay. He's doing better than I thought he is. We should keep an eye on him. Especially since he doesn't exactly like us, to say the least. And he's attacking Asor. I don't have enough units to send there. I would really love to snipe Asor, but... I don't think we can do it. We just don't have enough units. I'll try. Next. He took the city. Okay, that city wasn't exactly amazing. But it looks like he will also take Asor. That's a bit worrying. Yeah, I can't get there in time. It's just not going to happen. Let's try to take at least one city. I don't even care which one. And this stupid explorer. 
he has like survivalism free or something. Which is why he can take so much damage and not die. I can't attack him with the cannon because the shot is blocked. That's a little bit annoying. Let's fortify and regain some health. I just want him to get the heck out of here. So get out of here. Yeah, I can't attack him with the crossbowman either. Alright. So let's move towards Assur. I'm pretty sure Napoleon will take it, like, right now, on his turn. But we'll move towards it anyway. Just in case we'll be able to actually snipe it. I'm not getting my hopes up, but it's a possibility. Okay, next. Six gold per ten. Yeah. Sure. He didn't take it. He almost did. Okay, maybe we can actually snipe it. Hold on. We might now. He has melee units in range. Well, I will still move towards it just in case he fails. Which seems incredibly unlikely. But hey. If there's even 1% chance, I'll take that chance. Oh great, now he healed up too. Damn it. You know what, maybe we should just ignore him. Maybe the French Musketeer will help us out. The only problem is that I kind of need the style for a cannon. That's the issue. And it's not exactly safe to use it right now, is it? No, definitely not. Well, we can use it for the crossbowman at least. That might make it a little bit easier to kill him. Yeah, way easier. Now he's dead. Okay, good. Now we can move in with the cannons. Let's move in with both. I really want to take at least one city. Because otherwise it looks like Napoleon will. And considering Napoleon has 20 cities already, I don't want him to get even more. Okay, Korea is still coming. And we cannot peace out, unfortunately. Well then, we might need more units over there. Just in case. 664, okay, we can give up the wards fair now. It's actually more production than we need. But we secured the silver reward, that's what matters. Let's see if we can sabotage Korea a little bit. Okay, what can we do? Let's see. Still 525 gold. Inside City Revolt. None of these are super amazing. If we take the gold, we have 50% chance to not lose the spy. We lost him. Oh well. We got 500 gold at least. I guess I'm not very good at a coin toss. Cover two. Let's see if we can take the city. We almost certainly can. This is already pillaged. And uh, now it's not. Yeah, it is. The road is not pillaged, but pillaging a road will not heal us. As you know that now. I think we can take the city on the next turn. Just don't let that musket man die. And yep, Napoleon took Assur, which is really annoying, but there's not much I could have done about it. Unfortunately. Caravan. I suppose we can send it to Napoleon now. Sure. In before Napoleon also declares war. That wouldn't surprise me too much, but I can't just assume everyone will declare war. We need to trade with someone. Fortify. Okay, we will lose some happiness if we take that city, but we will gain travels. 
we'll just have to repair them. And Napoleon obviously wants that city. Now, let's not do too much damage, because that would be bad. I don't think we can take it right now. Okay. Let's wait one more turn. We'll attack once, and then wait one turn. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be enough. And I don't want to risk giving the city to Napoleon. Yep. It's not a guaranteed capture, so... I don't want to lose my musket man and also fail to take the city, that would be bad. Anything else? More trading posts? We still got more tiles that require repairs. Okay, we have enough faith to buy something. We can fight by a bank. Interesting. Oh, one of our cities has a different religion. That would be Kathmandu. You know what? I'm okay with this. Let's fight by a bank. Then we'll get an Inquisitor later. Okay, he failed and now Harappa wants to peace out. A little bit too late now. That city is definitely ours. Great, we don't have enough amphitheaters. That's the last thing I want to work on right now. Yeah. Eight turns. I guess we can grab one. Fine, we'll grab one. I still want more great works. Let's take the city, shall we? Yep, it's definitely ours now. There we go. Create puppet. And go repair the truffles. Maybe even before the call. Or send one of these guys. We got a worker inside the city, he can go. We can probably get some luxuries as part of the deal. Or we could go for another city. Yeah, let's not peace out just yet, maybe we can take more. Because Napoleon is also pushing. I don't want too many cities to go to Napoleon. Especially since we will almost certainly end up fighting Napoleon at some point. Probably sooner rather than later. Okay, you will wait. We could use him for a colossal head. But I don't think that's worth it all that much. Not really. Alright, let's push. As for production... Yeah, that's Koba. Its production is not exactly amazing. We'll grab a workshop. We can probably switch cities to production now, because a lot of them are focused on gold. We will be losing some gold, but that's fine. We got 1200. Minus 18. Yep, that's fine. Acceptable. We'll keep an eye on our gold. So, onwards. Yeah, look at all the damage Napoleon did there. I'm not even sure if I can get there fast enough. I'll try. It's funny how I did most of the work, destroying Harappa's army, and then Napoleon is capitalizing on it. Can't say I'm happy about that. But at least Harappa is not a threat anymore. Okay, let's go, people. There's still work to do. But keep some defenses around Kathmandu. Just in case he tries something funny. Or in case Napoleon declares war on us. I could definitely see that happening. We are also still at war with Korea. And we can't do anything about that just yet. What about you? A few more farms. I think that's a hill. Yep. We'll get a mine over there. Looks good. Hopefully someone will work on the World's Fair because I want my reward. He captured the city, damn it. 
Well, I tried. Not much I could have done to prevent that. Can we even get open borders with him? No. Well, that sucks. We can still attack in the east, but it will take me a while to actually move my army there. Still, we need to take advantage of this. I hope Napoleon won't end up taking the capital, because that would be really bad. We'll find out soon enough. And we'll keep some defenses here, in case Napoleon goes after us next. Which he very well might. That's almost what I expect him to do next. We need to be prepared for that. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.